That's a good raid. Good morning, good morning, everyone. We are out fishing in Aurora City. It is like 70 degrees. There's no wind right now. We're gonna be throwing artificial lures. What's up, Jody? What up? Let's go. We got Justin and Jeremy. I think we got enough rods. Damn, I don't know we brought that much. Let's see if we can find the fish, man. I got my waders right here just in case the water is pretty cold. Probably gonna put them on, so let's go. You ready, bro? Let's go find some fish. Let's do it. You see the see the little swim? check it out. Action on it. You see that? Pretty good action. Oh yeah, those are yours. Yeah. You sinking? A little bit. Really? Yeah, it's soft right here. Shouldn't be sinking. Am I fat or what, bro? Should be hard. Nah, it's soft. Is it? Yeah. Good. Is it really that soft? Not that bad, but it's soft. Unless it's because they were dredging. Yeah, look, you see. Yeah, they were all right here. I'm sure. Was it this far? Maybe I just got a soft spot. Oh yeah, dude, it's soft. Look at this. Look how, look how much I'm going down. I said we give it 10 minutes. We can all just stay here. So we can give it a quick 10 minute wait. Oh, there's a wake right there. There's some reds up and down here, man. But I don't know what the deal is. They're not, they're not hitting. All right, guys, we we're out here in Aurora City throwing artificial lures. I had an ultralight setup, but literally like two or three casts in, I got a big ass bird's nest or big ass wind knot on my line. I hate using spider wire, but that was literally the whole point of the challenge to try to use something on a budget. I should have learned my lesson from the last time I used it. I should have just bought Power Pro. So it's a uh, 1000 Sienna on a $20 reel, $20, $19 rod on a $29 reel budget combo. I have it in the boat, so I'll probably use it later today. We are fishing here, the mouth of the Arroyo. For those of y'all that fish this area, you know where we're at. And I lost one right there. Apparently there's a bunch of trout in this area as of yesterday or the day before Jeremy's brother came out here and caught a 25 inch trout and I caught a few other ones also So we're gonna see the trout are here before we go look for, before we go look for some redfish. So wish us luck man Try to catch some trout Man those rounds sound gnarly, right? Come on, trout, 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 trout. Skipjack. Nothing at this spot, man. A couple of small trout and a skipjack, but nothing worth recording. So we're gonna move on over to spot number two. So FYI, bro, right here, yeah, I was trying to get like work right along the edge. The only reason why I was walking that way because that's where the trout hit. So right here, I was telling Jeremy and Justin that I was walking, man, and I literally fell into a big old hole. My GoPro wasn't recording, but the water literally went up to my neck, man. It was kind of scary. So that was uh, one of the bad luck things that happened throughout the day. Well, luckily, I had my phone in my zipper, so you caught something. Yeah. What'd you catch? Nice red. Nice little red. Nice. Uh, easiest way walking is sitting on that equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that side. Hold on, Jody. I'm gonna slide on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Dang, dude, so you got so. Yeah. Oh. It's like there goes the whole point of, of waders. That's funny. You good? Yeah, hold on. I just need to, I just need to lean on That's what I say. Watch out, dog. Yeah, that's right. There you go. It was right there. You can kind of, you can kind of see the. Yeah. I guess maybe the, the trench, maybe? You think they hit a little. Deep spot maybe? I don't know bro, but I'm feeling this mud and I, I think I think when they were dredging, like all that mud piled up right there because it shouldn't be that soft, you know what I mean? Shit. Oh, I'm having a day, dog. Is this, is this yours? Yeah, but it's broken, bro. That one broke too on my on my trip out here. So it's funny, man. I was talking to Jeremy at the end of the trip and literally every time we go out, something goes wrong, but good thing nobody got hurt. We did have a little bit of bad luck, but this is how the rest of the trip went. 
All right, guys, just got dropped off, man. Didn't catch much at that first spot. I'm gonna fish this little shoreline right here. Man, I've had a day. First cast on that uh, ultralight setup that I brought, or actually like the second or third cast, not gonna lie. Got a crazy, crazy wind knot. Then I fell into a big old hole over there. Got my phone wet. Luckily I had it inside the, the case, so it didn't get that bad. But uh, yeah, I've had a little bit of a morning, man. Hopefully, hopefully you can get a redfish in this little area. It's a little shallow, so I might have to switch over to a weedless jig head, or I'll just keep really in a little bit faster let's see if we can catch a fish man let's go whenever you're weight fishing man be careful i don't know if you guys can see it with the gopro but that's what you got to be careful with right there see how they just like lay down they try to hide make sure you kick your feet man just be super super careful get out of here crazy throwing this little lure around for like five minutes haven't caught anything yet i'm probably going to switch colors to something a little bit more natural man because I don't think that chartreuse tail is the move right now. Let's go ahead and switch. Man, if I was a redfish, I'd be cruising up and down here, man. The only thing is that it's a little bit cold, so... But the sun's coming out, so I switched over to this natural color right here. See that, that lure really sparkles in the water. I'm going to cast left, cast right. Keep my head on a swivel, keep looking around. Hopefully we'll get some redfish to eat, man. Well, nothing on this color, man. Let's switch over to something else. I know I keep switching colors, but man, that's just something I like to do, especially uh, especially when I'm not even getting any hits or anything. So let's just switch over to something dark. This water changed, man. I'm trying to push to a deeper side just because I think they'd be in that little transition because I didn't see any action along that shoreline over there when it, and it's super shallow over there along that shoreline. So nothing. Let's switch over to something dark. I think I have dark somewhere. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Here comes a boat right behind us. Hopefully they don't, hopefully they can see me. Man, I wish I had midnight, midnight mullet. Do I have modern mullet in here? Oh, let's switch colors, guys. Let's do it. Modern mullet or midnight mullet, whatever this one's called. Maybe this is the move right here, man, especially since it's a little bit darker. Murky water, this would be like the third lure change. If this doesn't work, I will switch over to something else. All right, so let's try something different, man. I'm gonna walk like 10 feet and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take three casts in every direction and really work the area. It's like about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there, this is cast in every direction. I might push a little bit further to my right just because I'm getting a little too close to the channel. Oh, might as well cast that way though, you never know. One, two, three, let that lure go all the way down. A little bit of a pothole right there. Let's work it, let's work all the angles. So when you see a pothole like this, make sure you stop, cast to the left, left, cast in the middle, and then cast to the right. Hopefully there's gonna be a trout like this sitting down on the bottom. Nice trout, right in that transition. Nice trout. Nice trout, boys. Yes, sir. We walked so much, man. We walked all of that. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. Oh, we swallowed that. Oh, no, she didn't swallow it. It's not that bad. Get your hand nice and wet. That way you don't take off that good bacteria from her. Oh, yeah. Let's see how big she is. She's probably right at 18, 19. Chill ground. You're going to get released. Oh, damn. She's right at 20. 19 and a half, 20 inches probably. Right to that, yeah. Good 20 inch trout. Come here, girl. Sorry about that. There you go. Pretty trout. Pretty, pretty trout. Let's get a nice piece on you, bro. See you later. See you, see you later. That trout hit and this literally ran right, man. Took off to the right. See, we can get another one. So that trout hit over here. I was actually trying to walk to the right because there's a bunch of birds diving over there. I don't know if you guys can see them on the GoPro. See, there goes another bird that's going back for another round. They're getting a bunch of bait fish in that area. So, well, there's bait fish, there's predator fish. So let's just stop right here and fan cast the area. See what we can get. That bird, boom, just dropped down for some bait. This might be, this might be the spot right here. Let's cast right and let's cast the left. Let's cast over here. And then we'll cast that way back where I caught that trout. Ooh, there it is. That's a, that's a good red. That's a good red. Ooh, there it is. That's a, that's a good red. That's a good red. That's a good red. That is a nice red. Was it a big trout? Let's see what it is. I'm 
that's a nice rig. I saw the wake on that one. Oh yeah. There's probably more reds right there, bro. There's a bunch of bait and reds. They should be right here. Yeah, there should be more right there. You got one too? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I caught like a 20 inch trout and then a red back to back. Like for like five minutes right here. Yeah, like five, 10 minutes if you want. Or y'all want to take off? I didn't even bring a stringer. Did you keep yours, Johnny? You kept your... I say we give it like 10 minutes right here because there's a lot of bait there. Yeah. I, Justin's a bit hard too. I saw the wake, bro. It came out of the water like. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a keeper. I didn't, I didn't even bring a stringer. Where'd you put yours in? You see all those bait right there? Where all the bait that those birds are working? Dude, that trout was nice, man. I didn't caught a big trout like that in a while. So they were on that side too, huh? So Jeremy and Justin were telling me that on the south side of this little island, the little point, they were actually catching some nice redfish and nice trout also. You see all that, Jetty? <laughs> Oh, that's a nice trout. That's a baby red. They're aggressive, right? Hopefully there's a few more in here. I missed one. You saw that, dude? Yeah. Man. That was a that was a good little thump. Is that a trout stick in front of you? It looks like, right? A little flounder blow. Oh, yeah? Oh, took off. Quick update guys, caught one good redfish, it's on the boat, and uh, caught about two or three undersized trout, another undersized redfish, and a good 20 inch trout that I released. Vanford 2500 on my Thick Row 6, eight ounce jig head. Shout out to Waterland Co. for these sunglasses, man. They cover all of your eyes. Man, if you're interested in purchasing these Waterland Co. sunglasses, head over to waterlandco.com. Use coupon code STOIC to save some money. Let's get back to the fishing. We're probably going to move to a different spot here. I have to change the GoPro battery because it died on me. And um, yeah, let's go. Probably with a bunch of grass, that's why he's finding so good. Oh, good oh yeah. I can hit him. I can hit him. Oh yeah, get him, bro. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pull him towards you. There you go. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. On that apex jig head, quarter ounce. Drumming. He's drumming. Was he 22 also? Nice. Sweet. Can you take a picture real quick, Jody? Oh, man. 
How do I do it? Just straight up or? Just take a few. Yeah, you can take it just a few. Hold right, on, let me put my finger in it. One, One two. two. And then the long way too. Like, like, there we go. Thank you, sir. Get in the background, bro. That'll work. Thanks, man. He's your keeper. Oh, yeah. Last part of the day, guys. Oh, what happened? Are you still on? You want me to net him? Oh, it's a mullet, bro. Uh -uh. You cut a mullet, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Mullet on that AM lure, dog. <laughs> oh, oh that's a slippery devil. Yeah, I've only seen that like once or twice. Yes. I haven't seen that in a while. Hell yeah. Are you gonna fillet him here at the house? I don't know how I'm gonna fillet that. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Trying to make yeah. sure everything goes right at, at this last part. Dude, that was a lot of. Did you see me fall in the water or no? What? Did you see me fall? No, I was fishing. I didn't see that. <laughs> I just slipped, bro, and the water was like up to my neck. So that was scary. Why? When I fell over there. Oh. Just walking along and then there's a big ass hole. Added to this, man. Look at that freaking now. Shit. Jesus. Don't fall, bro. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. As you could tell, man, we had a lot of bad luck throughout this trip, but. We caught some big fish. It was a good time out there in Roy City. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. See you guys on the next one. Peace.